Welcome to stage four of the Giro d'Italia. Starting in Piacenza, the riders have 186 kilometers to cover before they reach the finish line in Sestola. Much like stage three, this is a race of two halves. The first part is mainly flat until they get to about 77 kilometers where they start hitting those climbs. The riders have three categorized climbs, each more decisive than the last. And with today's weather, it's gonna make for an unpredictable race. With each ascent whittling down the peloton, it's likely that there will be significant movement in the general classification. There are also two intermediate sprint points, the first at 86 kilometers and the second at 179 kilometers. But those sprint points won't be of much importance if there's an early breakaway, that plus the rolling nature of the stage. This stage could see the early breakaway survive to the finish, but with the Maglia Rosa up for grabs, you could also see fireworks from the big contenders in the general classification. This last climb was uh, really a tough one, and yeah, I was able to get the gap. Uh, wasn't enough for the pink jersey, but I think a stage win is a nice way to uh, finish the day. Joe Dombrowski took the stage and with it the mountains jersey, and Filippo Garner lost the Maglia Rosa today, but the Italians will be happy because it goes straight over to his fellow countryman in Alessandro Damarchi. We'll see you back here for stage five of the Giro d'Italia.